Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Gardening with Tammy. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tammy. Hi. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to talk to you today about maintenance. Uh, maintenance is something that's extremely important when dealing with the garden. Um, I'm just going to jump right on in. Um, if you have not checked out my last videos about watering and how to start a container garden, uh, go back and watch those videos. I think that it can be some helpful hints to uh, help you get everything started and to make sure that your garden flourishes the way it's supposed to. Okay, so today's video is going to be about maintenance. So, um, as I said earlier, a garden is a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of work mainly because uh, these are your babies. I mean, you take care of it, you water it, uh, you make sure that pests don't come in and eat everything up from it. So, uh, today's video is going to be about maintenance, uh, how to maintain your container garden as well as your raised beds. So, in this particular video, I have not touched anything. I've been working like crazy, and uh, it's not looking the way that I would like for my garden to look. So, but I purposely uh, did not mess with too much of it because I wanted to bring you guys in and show you how everything looks and how to prune everything. Is if you're talking about your, you know, tomatoes. Um, if they're like kind of all over the place and I'll show you what I did. Um, I've already done that previously, but it's a lot of things in, uh, in my raised beds that I do need to get uh, taken care of as soon as possible, mainly because my cucumbers are going crazy and um, I need to be able to let the pollinators get in there and take a look at everything and fertilize everything for me and um, so that I can probably get some vegetables. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to kind of take you out first to my raised beds, mainly because um, I don't have a lot of uh, things that I really have to do inside of my actual um, containers. So it's not that hot outside today. And of course, I have on protective gear. Uh, so that my arms aren't a different color from the rest of my body. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you uh, what my garden looks like right now as far as with, um, you know, the things that are dying off, the things that are um, needing to be pulled. Um, again, I haven't really been out here as far as taking care of the maintenance on it is probably the best as I should. but um been working a lot so um but i'm going to show you some of the things that i'm going to pull and uh it'll be another video of course but i'll let you know exactly what i'm planting in this place so let's go ahead and get started and i'll show you everything that needs to be maintained okay guys so this raised bed right here uh, is my tomato raised bed and uh, I'm going to show you, like, since I have so many planted here, I'm going to show you what I did to allow uh, some of the actual uh, air to breathe through there and for um, an easier access to be able to go out here and actually uh, gather the um, tomatoes when it's time to. Um, real quick, so we, we're having a, an, an issue with um Japanese beetles and um my lovely neighbor uh, Mary Beth I just came out here to my uh actual um tomato bed and I can see the Japanese beetles going crazy she set up the, this uh device that captures them to keep them off of um, you know our our garden and everything so I hope she doesn't mind I'm gonna flash it up there real quick but they're just like all zooming around and trying to get in there, which is great. But back to the video. So, okay, so here are some of the things that I did. So before, uh, this was very bushy um, and, you know, it was not, you couldn't see through it. So I'm going to kind of like span it out. As you can see, I came through here and removed a lot of the uh, growing suckers. And suckers are pretty much um, an additional plant that will sprout and actually produce fruit for you so I came through here and I just pretty much cut everything off as you can see it's like still trying to grow back here and I'll come out here and get that off of there but what I did was go through here 
and removed all the lower leaves for maintenance reasons, mainly because when you have tomato plants or any other plant um, and there's an actual, um, there's a bee pollinating everything, I don't know if you can see it, which is great. But um, when you have any type of plant like a tomato or anything like that and the leaves are actually touching uh, the ground, it can cause disease to your plant. And that's not something that you want to do or that you want to happen, mainly because these are your babies. This is how you're getting your, um, you know, your food and you're saving money and you don't want that to happen. So I've come through here and it's hot out here and I haven't watered them. So that's one of the reasons why it's all flopped over. Um, so I've come through here and I pretty much cleaned everything completely out like you can really see through it. That allows the air to be able to breathe through and any lower uh, stems and um, that may be touching the ground that can cause a disease or allow an actual crawling insect to get on your uh, plants. You need to remove it so that it does not give them easy access to do so. Now I'm going to zoom in here and you can see where I've kind of like cut. If I can focus it out. Cut a lot of the stems off of here because I did not want any disease or anything to happen and I want to be able to have an easy access when it's time to come out here and harvest the tomatoes so as you can see you know the tomatoes are growing in and um, it's the little friend bee here and that is an actual Japanese beetle that I tried to just catch because he's going to go bye-bye um, but as you can see, a lot of the tomatoes and everything are growing on there. So you want to make it to where um, your, your plants have enough room to actually grow. And as well as keep any disease. And it'll be an easier option for you to be able to uh, get to the pest as well. Sorry, just crushed a beetle um, that landed over here on my... Uh, tomato plants um, and I'll do another video about pest control and what I use to try to keep them off of everything um, again if you don't know about Japanese beetles go look them up they will come through and devour everything that you have and it would be looking like the nightmare before Christmas love that movie but that's not something that you want to see on your plants or your leaves um, so but as you can see down here, when I stated that I needed to do some maintenance, you can see some of the browning leaves. These are the, the things that you need to get off of there. When they are starting to turn brown and they look like this, you want to actually remove that. And there are some back here that are dry. You want to remove that and get that out of there so that your, your plant can actually focus on producing energy for providing fruit and for growth. So that particular uh, dead leaves and everything that's, you know, kind of falling over, that's what I'm talking about. That's what this video is about today, uh, getting in there and removing all of that um, so that your plants can, uh, you know, grow and thrive the way that they're supposed to. Um, so over here, I did the same thing. So before this was like really bushy and um, really no room for anything to grow. So I came through here and removed a lot of the actual bottom leaves. Anything that could possibly touch the ground, um, I removed. And um, as you can see, it's working. Like here's a prime example of what you may want to get out of there. As you can see, it's like yellowing. You just want to simply remove that there gone so i'm just going to lay it there because i don't want to throw it in the yard um but that's that's what i mean and as far as with on your pepper plant so i have several pepper plants here and inside of uh, some of these leaves you can see that they are yellowing and i just come out here and just basically you can use an actual um uh, you know scissors to cut them out but I just 
pull down and up and remove it and that's out of here that's old you don't want that in there you want your plants to you know focus on growth you do not want them to have to worry about any uh, dead leaves or anything still hanging on so just like right here here's another example of that so I'm going to remove that came with the gloves I probably should have got my clippers to do this one. I'll leave it because I don't want to damage my plant. But um, I would normally just snap that up and back. But I can't because I have the gloves on. But I'll get some scissors here. And I'll come back and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Sorry. Out here crushing Japanese beetles because they've gone crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk up here and get my actual scissors so I can uh, show you guys exactly how I cut that off. Okay guys, so I got my uh, little cutters here. So this is one of the ways that I actually come through here. Sorry, I'm like ducking Japanese beetles because they're everywhere. And I just come out here snip it anything that is causing it to be uh, anywhere to where you have any yellowing of leaves or anything you want to get that stuff out of there you don't want your plant to focus um, on that so okay so moving on I'm just looking around to see if I actually see any more and again, like over here on this raised bed, uh, like right here, this particular um, branch right here or, you know, stem isn't something that I would really need, mainly because it's actually, you know, it, it will start uh, sending out suckers and everything. I mean, building fruit. So I'm just going to like snip that off of there. Uh, it's dying anyway. And not something that I want to keep on there so again coming back uh, through here anything that's damaged anything that is low to where you're gonna have to actually deal with um, disease you want to get out of there any of these you want to go I mean they have to go and again, as you can see, when they start becoming Lord, they will start producing fruit for you. I mean, but you want to at least get as much of that off as you possibly can. All right, so moving along here and just kind of looking for spots as to what's damaged, what may be damaged. You want to get it out of there. And sorry for the lighting. Um, outside is extremely bright and I just kind of want to give you an idea of how to remove those items um, so that you can continue to have your actual guard to flourish the way that it's supposed to now so I showed you how to prune some of the leaves off of a pepper uh, I showed you how to prune some of the leaves off of an actual um, tomato now I'm kind of moving over here to um, making sure that they get removed from an actual um, cucumber so I'm sorry like the Japanese beetles are like taking over here they're all on my corn it's like trying to catch them and get them off of there so in this raised bed um, I have a bunch of zucchini squash and cucumbers different variety of cucumbers and as you can see with the cucumbers they are pretty much taking over the entire space there are some leaves that are yellowing and I definitely don't want that to stay in there and I also have some in here that are um, kind of brown and dry and um, like this is one like that right there I don't know if you can see it hopefully want to get that out of there I mean that's not serving any purpose to the actual plant as a plant can use its energy uh, for something else like producing fruit um, here's another one I'm going to go in here with the scissors the clippers 
and just cut that off. I mean, like that's that can go. That can actually go. So uh, that is what you would need to do for maintenance on that. And over here in my uh, sweet potato and watermelon bed, I really don't see anything that has to be uh, clipped as far as any bad seeds or anything. I'm sorry, not seeds, um, leaves or anything. So I'll kind of leave that, but I do see this one right here where it's kind of, I can focus in yellow and everything. I do need to remove that from there. So you would just simply go towards the bottom and get that off of there and cut it off. Because you do not want that to hinder anything that is going on with your actual plant. And I'm out here still chasing these Japanese beetles because they're just a pest. Just a pest. Like just, just want them to go away. Um, so in this raised bed, this is what I was telling you. This is my salad and herb uh, station right here. These are some of the plants that I have to pull up. And this is arugula. Now, if you've ever grown arugula, you know arugula does not handle um, heat well and it will bolt. And this is an example of it bolting. When it bolts, it sends up little flowers. And of course, the bees love it. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't touched it. Um, but I will be getting out here either today or tomorrow and pulling it up uh, so that we can go ahead and get something else growing in its place that can tolerate the heat. And another thing, my bean plants. So when I planted these, uh, a lot of them, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're thriving. They're, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. But a few didn't really make it the way that I wanted them to, like this particular one. It's like never produced any actual beans. Um, it's just kind of laying there, it's dead. That I will be pulling and planting something else in its space, mainly because I don't want that to continue just to be there and it's not producing anything and it's wasting space. So over here on my bean plants, as you can see, like some of the beans producing good, uh, pro are producing well. With the heat and some are not and as you can see again i purposely have not touched any of this so that i can make uh this particular video but as you can see there's a lot of dead leaves things that need to be you know clipped off and maintained so when you have this again you just simply you want to get it out of there i mean like you can either tear it off with your finger or you just want to cut that out of there now keep in mind that sometimes when you do cut uh, on your plants whether it is an actual um, cucumber squash tomato it does send off a scent so um, if that does happen you do have a lot of the actual pests that you don't want in your garden smell it and come out and I'll um, let you know like you can spray like peppermint oil or something like that to kind of mask the smell while you're trimming everything so um, hopefully all of this helps you um, in regards to uh, maintaining your garden. As you can see, I have a lot that I have to do, especially in my uh, bean raised beds. Um, so I have to come out here and get all of that taken care of, all of that cut off. As you can see, this is like crumbled. This needs to go. Um, I need to get that out of there. I've just simply cut that off. Done. And I'll come out here and clean the rest of that up. But that's pretty much how you would go about making sure that uh, your garden is maintained um, when it comes when it comes to sorry, it's like all types of bees and just. I don't know what today. Today's like crazy. It's bees and wasps that I've never seen before and um, just all kinds of everything out here today. Um, obviously, I love gardening, but I don't like the insects that come with it. Not ever been a fan of insects. You would think that they will come hand to hand and I wouldn't mind, especially with gardening. I do not like them. So, um, if you kind of hear me running a little bit, I'm, I'm running. 
time from them so again um, I hope the tips and everything helped you in regards to maintaining your garden um, making sure that everything is well taken care of in your garden so that you can continue to be able to come out here and harvest um, everything that you need to harvest as, as you can see there are a few things that I do need to come out here and get uh, a bunch of peppers and everything that are growing some that have turned purple hopefully with the lighting you can see that because I can't see it at all there we go some that have turned purple so it's a lot of things that I have to come out here and get and um, can't see it because I can't see because of the sun tomatoes and everything are ripening and everything is pretty much producing so um, I hope again this video helped you uh, in regards to maintaining your garden what to expect uh, of your garden uh, when it comes to gardening and gardening as I said is another full-time job it's something that uh, you won't regret because when you taste the actual food that comes with it um, you probably will not want to buy it at a grocery store ever again and there's another beetle you know, I could never grab him I grab him he's not gonna be alive um, so that's it and again if for any reason items like this anything that's touching anything else like that right there that needs to go it needs to go for a couple of reasons like you don't want that hanging on and causing any issues with anything that you have going as far as growing your items you want to get that uh, out of there because it's not serving a purpose to your plant it is simply taking energy away from your plant and um, taking energy away from your plant would simply mean that you don't get uh, the result that you're looking for as well as um, actual fruit I caught one almost caught that one uh, anyway that's pretty much how everything looks okay guys back in the shade even though it's about 80 something degrees here in Nashville it is hot out there um, so I'm going to continue to go through um, and maintain my garden and um, get some of the items out of there that were damaged as far as the leaves um, pull up any plants that aren't serving a purpose and replanting some items so that um, my garden can continue to grow again this video was about maintenance hopefully that I, I helped you uh, understand the importance of being able to go in and take care of some of the suckers on your tomato plants and the reasons why if you see any dead leaves you need to remove them um, mainly because again you want your garden to flourish the way that it's supposed to flourish you do not want uh, your garden to go through and uh, you know just look dead and you, you just don't want that uh, you want to remove uh, any items that aren't serving any purpose to your garden mainly because the reason why you started the garden was for healthy food you started the garden and maybe it could have been for a hobby or whatever the case may be but you started it so you want to just make sure you maintain it um, so when you go in and maintain it any leaves or anything that do not um, appear to be serving a purpose and uh, taking the energy away from your plants you want to remove it so again thank you so much for joining me i hope you learned something here again i'm tammy and thank you for watching my channel garden with tammy don't forget to go and hit that like and subscribe button so that you can get uh, a notification about any videos that i do put out here sorry i'm talking fast it is extremely hot and i need to go and get something to drink to cool off again thank you guys so much for watching have a great day